which real life mobster served as the inspiration for Big Pussy Bompensero in the hit TV show The Sopranos. Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organized crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the Genovese crime family mobster who Big Pussy Bompensero in The Sopranos was based on. David Chase, the creator of the superb television series The Sopranos, took inspiration for various characters and storylines from the real-life New Jersey-based De Cavalcanti crime family. But it is also suggested that he utilised his knowledge of Genovese family captain Richie the Boot Boyardo and his crew, who were also based in New Jersey. The character of Salvatore Big Pussy Bompensero was inspired, in part, by a gangster who was close with Genovese captain Richie the Boot Boyardo. His name was John Big Pussy Russo. So, what do we know about Genovese crime family mobster John Russo? And what comparisons can be made between his life and the fictional Big Pussy in The Sopranos? John Big Pussy Russo was born in Newark, New Jersey on the 4th of January 1909. He also had an older brother called Ralph, who was a top lieutenant for New Jersey mobster Richie Boyardo, and also a younger brother by the name of Anthony. In the days of Prohibition and before Richie the Boot was aligned with what would become known as the Genovese crime family, Ralph and John Russo would assist Boyardo in his rise to power in New Jersey in the 1920s and early 1930s. In 1929, Richie Boyardo and his crew were in the middle of a feud with a rival gang called the Mazzocchis, who were headed by Frank Chichi Mazzocchi. Boyardo had once been a member of the Mazzocchi crew in the mid-1920s, but had broken away from them in 1928 and established a strong crew himself, including Ralph and John Russo. The younger brother Anthony was still in his mid-teens at the time. Frank Chichi Mazzocchi had aligned himself with powerful underworld figures Abner Longis Villeman and Chicago-based Al Capone. The conflict between the Mazzocchis and the Boyardo crew escalated into open warfare with casualties on both sides. On the 4th of December 1929, Joseph Rosso, a prominent member of the Mazzocchi clan, was gunned down near the Victory Cafe. The police arrested numerous members of the Boyardo gang and John Russo and Frank Nappi would later confess to the hit. Previously in June that year, Joseph Rosso had shot Frank Nappi in the leg, permanently crippling him. In John Russo's testimony, he would detail how the Boyardo gang took their revenge in December 1929, as documented in the excellent book In the Godfather Garden by Richard Lynette. On the night of the murder, Big Pussy went out looking for Rosso, dropping in at Chiminio's pool room on 7th Avenue. Rosso was drunk. The men argued. Rosso said, I'll cut you up and get the both of you before Christmas. I'll show you who's going to run the first ward. I'll cut you before the night is over. Big Pussy told the authorities he left the pool hall with Rosso in pursuit and dropped into the Victory Cafe near his stolen car. As he took a seat at a table, Rosso arrived. Just to make things look good, Rosso bought me a cup of coffee there, said Big Pussy. While I was drinking it, Rosso put his finger to my cheek and whispered, That's where I'm going to mark you. Big Pussy brushed off the threat, left the cafe, got into his car and waited. Rosso eventually followed, walking up 7th Avenue. Big Pussy drove by and shot Rosso in the leg as payback for crippling Nappy and in the abdomen for good measure. He left the scene quickly and dumped the stolen car. In court, John Russo would plead no contest to the charges, but did not officially admit his guilt with a guilty plea. Compare this to the fictional Sal Big Pussy Bompensero, who became an FBI informant rather than do serious time for heroin dealing. The real Big Pussy, John Russo, would then accept the 30-year sentence handed to him for the Rosso murder. In addition, 
there appears to be another twist in the Joseph Rosso killing. An unidentified FBI source would later state, It has long been rumoured among the hoodlum element that Boyardo Sr. was responsible for the death of Rosso. Because of this, Boyardo Sr. has long favoured Russo and has seen to it that he has been well off both financially and in position. John Russo was 20 years of age at the time of his 30-year conviction. And if the rumours that he took the rap for Richie Boyardo were true, then it shows John Russo's extreme loyalty to his boss. Unlike the behaviour of the fictional Big Pussy in The Sopranos. The Boyardo gang would eventually defeat the Mazokis. And interestingly, some of the remaining Mazoki gang would join Boyardo's crew, including notable future Genovese crime family heavyweights, Angelo Gip Di Carlo and Charles the Blade Turin. John Russo would be released from Trenton State Prison in 1939 after receiving a pardon from the governor of New Jersey. He had served just under 10 years of his 30-year sentence. Whilst he had been inside, his older brother Ralph had been murdered on the orders of crew boss Richie Boyardo. Ralph Russo had been involved with some unsanctioned killings that led to Boyardo losing patience with his old friend. And on February 18th, 1936, 31-year-old Ralph Russo was taken for a ride and shot three times. He was found buried in a snowdrift. John Russo and his younger brother Anthony, who had joined the gang whilst John had been inside, were aware that Boyardo had ordered the murder of their brother but understood that this was the life they had chosen. In his younger days, John Russo had gained a reputation as an excellent thief and cat burglar, something that it is alleged that his younger brother Anthony was also adept at. Earning the brothers the nicknames John Big Pussy Russo and Anthony Little Pussy Russo. This being the direct inspiration for the character Sal Bompensero's nickname in The Sopranos. In Season 2, Episode 8, entitled Full Leather Jacket, Christopher Moltisanti, portrayed by Michael Imperioli, explains to Sean Gismonti and Matt Bevilacqua during a heist how Sal Bompincero earned his nickname. In the scene, Sean Gismonti is squatting in the corner, trousers around his ankles, listening as Christopher states, The adrenaline affects everyone differently. Big Pussy Bompincero, he started out as a cat burglar. One time, he left a load so big, cop thought a bear was in the place. Interestingly, John Russo's brother, Anthony Little Pussy Russo's nickname, appears to have served as the inspiration for another character on The Sopranos. Gennaro Little Pussy Malanga Little Pussy Malanga, although only seen on screen during a television report, is a pivotal character in the pilot episode of The Sopranos where Tony Soprano comes head-to-head -head with his uncle Junior about the location of where Little Pussy will be murdered. In real life, Anthony Little Pussy Russo would also be the victim of a mob hit in 1979. After his release from prison in 1939, John Big Pussy Russo would become the right-hand man of Richie the Boot Boyardo. Richard Lynette writes, Because of his loyalty to the boot, along with the respect he had gained within the Genovese family. Big Pussy assumed the role that his older brother Ralph once had as the Boot's lead lieutenant. Throughout his relationship with the Boot, Big Pussy was the primary enforcer, bagman and point person for the family's gambling, union kickback and casino skim ventures. On the Boot's behalf, he also worked with other mob family bosses throughout New Jersey and New York. He frequently was dispatched to iron out or settle mob gambling or business disputes. He partnered in loan sharking, gambling and extortion with other mob leaders. Up until the late 1970s, Big Pussy Russo was partnered in several gambling operations with Bruno crime family mobster Antonio Tony Bananas Caponegro. In The Sopranos, Big Pussy Bompensero operates a car body shop, which is later run by his wife Angie after his murder. In comparison, in 1964, John Big Pussy Russo became a part owner of Topeta Motor Car Sales in Newark. The car dealership was a legitimate business, 
although did function as a mob meeting place. However, by all accounts, Big Pussy was an excellent car salesman. In 1965, Chrysler rewarded Russo's performance with a trip to Mexico City, spending a month there at Chrysler's expense. Richie the Boot Boyardo would have Big Pussy Russo become the mentor to his son, Anthony Tony Boy Boyardo, and the pair would become close friends. There is a similar but brief parallel to this in The Sopranos. In the TV show, Christopher Moltisanti, who Tony Soprano affectionately calls his nephew, even though he is a cousin on Tony's wife's side, is often treated like his son, with Tony acting like a father figure. And although Big Pussy Bompensero is not directly seen as a mentor to Christopher, in the pilot episode, Big Pussy is shown schooling the young mobster after a hit on the nephew of a rival garbage contractor. Christopher wants to leave the body to be found. However, Big Pussy says it won't help their dispute and will bring police attention. Big Pussy says, He disappears. He never comes home. They know, but they don't know. They hope, maybe, he'll turn up. If. Take him to Staten Island. I'll cut him up. The tall, well-dressed and handsome John Russo was a popular and respected mobster. Richie Boyardo's daughter Rose had a massive crush on him and even wrote to him when he was in prison. On September 23, 1960, Big Pussy Russo was shot in the chest after allegedly wresting a gun out of the hands of Pasquale Smudgy Antonelli. Several bullets were fired from the gun, hitting Russo, Jimmo Calabrese, Tony Boy Boyardo and Smudgy himself. There are conflicting stories around the shooting, but allegedly Smudgy Antonelli had been summoned to a meeting with Tony Boy Boyardo and thought that it was an ambush. Interestingly, when Big Pussy was in hospital, the attendant searched his wallet and found a gold badge which identified John Russo as an honorary police commissioner. This led the doctors to believe that they had a prominent public official on their operating table and not a convicted murderer. When the news of John Russo's honorary police commissioner badge hit the press, it caused a scandal and an investigation into police corruption. John Russo would have his left lung removed as a result of the shooting. The fictional Big Pussy Bompensero was inducted into the Mafia sometime after 1983, after stepping up for Tony's father, Johnny Boy Soprano, in the unrest of 83. In real life, it is unclear as to when John Russo was formally inducted into the Genovese crime family, but some sources indicate it may have been sometime between 1946 and 1957. Jewish hitman turned informer, Harold K.O. Konersberg would tell the FBI in the early 1960s the following. Little Pussy, Anthony Russo, is a Genovese soldier, but his brother, Big Pussy, John Russo, is not a made guy. This appears to perhaps be inaccurate and more of a testament to John Big Pussy Russo's low-key profile. The excellent research site LCN Bios has John Russo listed as the sponsor of Genovese soldier Anthony Davingo in his 1976 induction. John Russo's brother, Anthony Little Pussy Russo, deserves a video dedicated to himself, and I will cover him in the near future. The two brothers, however, were contrasting characters. As Rich Lynette describes in the book In the Godfather Garden, the difference between Big Pussy and his younger brother Little Pussy was like night and day. Whereas Big Pussy worked quietly in the background, not attracting heat, Little Pussy was all foreground and an easy target for law enforcement. Little Pussy was too loose-lipped and brazen for his mob superiors, and it was rumoured that it was the respect people had for his brother John and also due to interventions from John himself, that kept Little Pussy alive. In the season 2 finale of The Sopranos, entitled Funhouse, Tony Soprano's suspicions about Sal Big Pussy Bompensero being an FBI informant are confirmed, and ultimately Big Pussy is taken on a boat ride and executed by Tony, Silvio Dante 
and Paulie Walnuts Goltieri, and his body dumped at sea. In contrast, the real big pussy, John Russo, remained a figure respected across the underworld, and Richie the Boot Boyardo's key liaison with other crime families. John Big Pussy Russo would die of natural causes on the 2nd of December 1978, at the age of 69. Just four months later, and with his brother no longer alive to protect him, Anthony Little Pussy Russo was murdered. With regards to Little Pussy's murder, one paper reported, Police maintained that Russo fell from favour with mob bosses a decade ago. They say his brother John interfered on his behalf at least half a dozen times when mob superiors indicated their displeasure with Pussy's actions. John Russo died of natural causes in December of 1978, prompting several law enforcement officers to say that Pussy's death was simply a matter of months. Four months later, Pussy Russo was found murdered at the Harbour Island Spa. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.